So I started playing soccer when I was five years old. I joined a local boys team. I stayed there until the age of 11 because the actual rule at home then was that girls couldn't play within boys teams beyond that age at the time. Uh, the rules changed now, but so I had to leave to find a girls team. Um, and that was when I joined uh, Cardiff City Ladies. It was the under 12s team at the time. Um, and that was my first experience of playing in a girls team, which was, you know, really cool. But I didn't experience that until I was about 11, 12. I remember my dad taking me along when I was about five and I just joined in the sessions. And I remember being very bad for a while. <laughs> being with the boys, I just remember like, wow, I'm really not good at this. Um, but I must have been doing something right because when I joined the girls team, I remember that I, I thought, you know, okay, I fit in quite well here. I think I'm doing okay. But my first couple years when I was really young, I just, I just have these memories of just thinking, okay, I'm actually not very good at this. <laughs> but practice makes perfect, I guess. I think, um, I've always had this like competitive nature. So even though I wasn't very good, I wanted to be. And I wanted to be, you know, one of the best. And even though I wasn't very good at the start, I just had this connection to it straight away. And that enjoyment just grew with my age. Um, and as I was developing, my enjoyment just developed. My passion for the sport, you know, got stronger. I actually remember the very first time um, I got selected for a, a camp, even though I was only 14, so it was just a youth level. I was actually on a school trip. Actually, I was in America. Yeah, I was on a skiing trip with my school, and I remember getting the e email. Oh, my dad called me and said, we've had this letter through the post, you know, you're going on a, on a Welsh camp. And I was like, oh my God. I, was, I, I just went straight to my, P, my, my PE teacher at the time. I said, miss, you know, I've been selected. And she goes, wow, that's amazing. And I just remember being so excited, um, nervous as well. I think, you know, it, it's always the dream as, as a kid, especially thinking, oh, you know, one day that could be me. Um, I think I, it started to become a goal rather than a dream when I was getting drafted into the youth system and the youth teams. Our Welsh coach uh, likes to give young players opportunities. So when I was in the under 17s, I saw people in the under 19 system getting picked for the senior team whilst they were still in 19s. So to see that young players were, give, were being given opportunities, you know, that just made me think, okay, you know, this, this can be me if I just, you know, work, work hard. So I wanted it to happen. Um, I didn't know if it was going to happen, but I, I definitely thought it was possible. I have to start with when I was on an under-19s youth camp in Armenia. The, assistant, the, the coach pulled me aside and, and said, you know, would you, you know, would you be okay with coming on the next senior camp? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> that would be fine. Who is the Wales squad picked to face Portugal? Ella Powell, Georgia State University. And I didn't expect to get game time. I didn't expect to play that much just because it was my first camp. Um, I was just gonna see, I was just gonna work hard and see where that got me. Um, and when I got subbed on in the first game, I remember being quite numb. I didn't want to be too nervous that it'd affect my performance. So I remember just being focused and just being ready to play and stepping on the pitch as if it was a normal game. And I, I had to approach it like that otherwise I think. I would have been too distracted by my emotions, but looking back on it afterwards, I was like, wow, I can't believe I just did that. Um, within the game, I think I was just so focused that it, it was kind of a blur. And then a couple of days later, to be named in the starting lineup, that was huge. And I kind of, after that meeting where I found out, I kind of like took a step, I was like, okay, whew, deep breath. <laughs> It's like, okay, this is gonna happen. Um, but no, I, I was ready for it and I just wanted, I just always wanna make sure I work hard and try and do the things the coach is asking me to do and try and not get too lost in uh, the distractions of emotions, like nervousness and things like that. So I try and just stay focused and see, see how I do. <laughs> I think I kind of surprised myself when I did it. And I was like, <laughs> that game was kind of frustrating for me because I was, I really wanted to score and I knew it was coming. I just, I just couldn't, couldn't get it. And then um, my friend Fion just passed the ball, um, and I just knew I was like, I'm getting this, I'm getting this, and I just ran on it, and thankfully it went in. My first thought was like, finally. 
<laughs> Thank you. Um, but no, yeah, that was that was super cool. And that was actually my last um, game for a youth Welsh team. You know, from that moment on, it would only be seniors. So to have that moment where it's like my last game, go off and start, you know, leave it with style sort of thing, was was great. Yeah, for me, if if I wanted to be a good role model for young girls, I just want to be someone who they can look up to for, you know, not letting, you know, social norms or whatever get in the way. You know, growing up, it was a struggle playing with the boys, and I ended up stepping away from football for a little bit because it was a lot to go through. But in the end, I came back and I thought, you know, I care way too much about football to let what other people think about me affect me. So I came back and I'm so glad I did because of everything that's happened. And I just want young girls to know that it doesn't matter what you know people think about you, what people say about you. If you've got a passion, like go go for it, you know, follow it. And I'm so lucky with the people around me, like my parents who have always supported me and said, this is what you're good at, this is what you love, like go for it with everything that you have. And I, I think I want people to kind of see me as someone who's stood in the face of adversity and said, you know what, it doesn't matter, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I want to do and I don't really care what people think. I think that's a big thing for me, but also I like to think that I'm someone you know, who works hard and works for anything that I, I gain in life. And I want young girls to you know, have a role model that you know, A, doesn't care about what people think, B, works hard to be successful, um, and C, who enjoys it. Even though I've had some struggles, at the end of the day I play football because I love it and I want your girls to see players just loving it and enjoying it and that being a reason for them to think okay maybe I can join it looks fun you know there's friends involved I, I'm quite a happy person I'm smiling a lot of the time so yeah those I think those three things mainly um, that I'd want people to sort of see me as um, more than anything.